Happy New Year everybody! Welcome to my channel. Hey, today we're making gluten-free enchilada sauce. Now this is kind of a big deal to me, uh, as most enchilada sauces you see out there do contain gluten. And so I just wanted to make this for all my gluten-free friends out there. So this is not a tomato-based recipe. Uh, some of you have, you know, have questioned that in the past. I have another enchilada recipe that does contain flour, so it has gluten in it. And you know, you've commented about how, well, there's no tomatoes in this. Nope, we don't need to use tomatoes. And I think you're gonna love the recipe, guys. It's great for uh, enchiladas and burritos and nachos and tamales, and even on some eggs. It's, it goes great on a lot of things, guys. And it's super easy to make. You can put this together in like 15 minutes. So no more of that canned stuff. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. So let's go over the ingredients, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make this recipe. All right, so first off, we're gonna need our gluten-free flour. I'm using uh, Bob's Red Mill. This is a uh, one-to-one -one baking flour. And over here, we've got some low-sodium chicken broth. I'm using some chicken base, which is called Better Than Bouillon. I've got my chili powder, ground cumin. This is garlic powder, some salt, a little bit of sugar to sweeten it up just a touch, just to take any bitterness out of the chili powder. I'm gonna use a little bit of, just a pinch of ground cinnamon. And then our last item here, I've got some fine artesian dark chocolate by uh, Scharfenberger. And just a little piece of that, guys, just for a little depth of flavor. First thing we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna put our chicken broth right into the pot here, put our temperature on medium heat. I wanna get this warmed up. So once the chicken broth starts to get warm, we're gonna add everything to the pot except for the flour. So here goes our chili powder. I'm gonna pour that in, the ground cumin, the salt, a little bit of sugar, the chocolate. I probably should have cut that up, chopped it up into little pieces, but I think that it'll be okay, it, it will dissolve. Here's the garlic powder. I'm adding the garlic a little bit at a time and then whisking it so it doesn't clump up. You know, some of you have asked me in the past what kind of chili powder to use, what's the best. Guys, I usually just buy whatever's organic. Now for our, just our little tiny pinch of cinnamon. I'm putting in probably about, I don't know, a sixteenth of a teaspoon. And guys, you can get all the ingredients uh, below this video. Just click where it says show more and you'll find the written recipe there. And here's our chicken stock. Now we're going to bring this to a boil and then we're going to simmer it for 10 minutes. And I'm going to put the lid on it when I simmer it because I don't want, you know, all the liquid to evaporate. Okay, so here we've got it. We've got it up to a boil. You see that? Now I'm going to partially cover this and I'm going to turn it down to like medium low. So while our sauce is simmering, I've got a bowl here with some water in it and I'm going to add the gluten-free flour to the water and just whisk it. Mixing the flour in a separate bowl like this is gonna help prevent lumps. That's why we do it. Now I'm gonna turn the enchilada sauce back up. 10 minutes have passed. I want this to start to boil and get really hot because as I add the flour, it's gonna cool it down. So I'm cranking it up to medium high heat here. And once I get it to boil, then I'm gonna add the flour. All right, we've got this boiling. Time to add the flour. We're gonna add this very slowly and whisk constantly as we add it. And you can stop for a minute and just blend it in. Now, you can stop at any time you want when you see that your enchilada sauce is as thick as you want it to be. And keep in mind that this sauce will continue to thicken up as it cools. Keep whisking, keep the lumps away. Add a little more. All right, that should do it for me. It's really gonna vary how much of the, uh, the flour mixture you put in there, uh, depending on how much your sauce cooks down. So if it cooks down more than mine did, you might wanna add a little less. So you make it the way, as thick as you want it. So we're gonna cook the sauce for about four or five minutes like this. We want it to be boiling and we wanna stir it continuously just so that it doesn't burn and we wanna keep those lumps away. 
All right, guys, that should do it. I'm going to turn off the heat and show you the final result. All right, guys, isn't that one of the easiest recipes you've ever seen? I tell you, this is so easy to make. You, you're just never going to go buy another can of enchilada sauce again. I'm sure of it. Remember, you guys can just put this on enchiladas and tamales and burritos and nachos or eggs or anything else you can think of. Now, that's what I'm going to do for you real quick here. I've got a little dish here of some chips, and I'm going to just drizzle the sauce right over for a nice quick snack or an appetizer. Let's say you're having a party. You know, you can just put this together really quick, and this sauce freezes up nicely. So you can make a big batch and just freeze it and thaw it out when you, when you need it. So I got my oven on 425, and I'm going to just throw a little cheese on here. I'm going to pop this in the oven, and I'll show you some nice cheesy nachos. All right, guys, here's our cheesy nachos. I'm going to go ahead and take a little taste, tell you how it, how it turned out. Ooh, it's hot. Delicious, guys. Delicious enchilada sauce. You guys are going to love this. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please share it. It helps me out help share the, the word about my site. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, there's just a couple of buttons around here. I've got one over here. There's always one down below in the video. Be sure and click that. You'll be notified every week when a new video comes out. And I'll look forward to making more recipes for you. So thanks again for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.